Hi, welcome back to Python 6. Today I'm going to be covering lines of best fit and how to use the gradient as well in your experiments. So here we are. As you can see, we are covering first the polyfit function and then plotting lines of best fit and then equations and graphs. So first, the polyfit function, the abridged version, what does it do? So do you remember the general equation of a straight line? It's actually a function that gives us the y value from the x value. Here it is here y equals mx plus c. That's the general equation of a straight line, where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. That's the y value where the line passes through the y-axis when x is equal to zero. So here, x is the input, y is the output. It's a function like any other. And the function numpy.polyfit takes in two lists, or somewhere, maybe arrays, of x values and y values and also the degree of the polynomial you're plotting as well. So this is what the parameters and the function looks like when you're calling it. We've got np for numpy, uh, the dot for calling it from the library, polyfit, and then this actually returns a one by d plus one array, where d is the degree of the polynomial. Okay, I'll stop a wee minute and explain what a degree is. So you know about straight lines, you've probably heard of quadratic equations, you've heard of cubic lines, so what differentiates all of these things? Well, it's the highest power of the, it's the highest power of the x value. So in a straight line, the highest power of the x value is just one. So it's degree one. If this were a quadratic equation, you would have x squared plus x plus one. In this case, the highest power is two. If you had a cubic curve, then you'd have x to the three and then x squared and then x and then one. In that case, the highest power is three. So we say it's degree three. So the degree is just the highest power that's in uh, the polynomial that you've got. So in this case, we're dealing with a polynomial of degree one. For a straight line, it's degree one. And the polyfit function returns to us the gradient and the y-intercept of an optimized line. It takes in your x and y values and it goes right. What does this line need to be to optimally place the line so that the distance between all the points is decreased as much as possible? So it does this using uh, the method of least squares, which I'm not going to explain, uh, but that's how it works. It seeks to decrease the distance between all the points so that it's placed optimally between them. And this will be representative of the trends and correlations in our data. So numpy.polyfit returns the gradient and y-intercept that represents this line. And all we need to do is recalculate our y values from that. So we can use this to plot a line of best fit using arrays and our graphing functions. I'm gonna begin with just importing libraries as we've seen before, reading in our data set from the Excel Gravity CSV that we've used in the past. And then I'm going to assign the mass to our x values, the weight to our y values, and I'm gonna do a scatter graph and plot that. And you'll see uh, what I've already shown you before. We've got these lines here. And, you know, they're pretty well placed, but some of them are a bit off. Uh, this one here is not very well placed, so you would have a line of best fit that would seek to decrease the distance between all of them. So we've got a scatter graph, we've got the coordinates of every point in the graph. Let's give these coordinates to numpy.polyfit and tell that we're dealing with a straight line. So as you can see, it is a straight line. This will be degree one. And we'll put that into polyfit, and it's going to return an array to us. So here... I'm using numpy.polyfit, giving it the x values, the y values, the degree, putting them in this polyfit results variable to hold, hold the array. I'm printing out the array here. This one's the gradient, and this one's the y-intercept. So the gradient represents the value of gravitational acceleration. If you can remember, on Earth, on Earth's surface at least, it's about 9.807 meters per second per second, and we've got 9.708. That's a really good result. That's really good. Uh, for a really basic experiment, that is a really good result. And the y-intercept shows that there's just a wee bit of uncertainty uh, in our results as well. So if we look at the first entry in our, in our array, we were looking to find a value for gravitational acceleration. We've got the official value here, we've got our value, and that's really close. So the first entry in the array that polyfit returns is the gradient. The adjusted gradient, that is. So let's go into why do we, why do we even graph? Why do we graph? What, what does it give us? 
Well, let's begin with Newton's law here, F equals ma. This is Newton's second law. It's something you've probably seen before. It's an equation or function, depending on how you look at it. And the, the three variables in it are F for the force in newtons, M for the mass in kilograms, and A for the acceleration in meters per second per second. So from our experiment that we've done, we've got two of those variables. We've got mass and force as well. In this case, the force is the weight. So the experiment that we performed was designed in such a way that we can collect data on these variables from the experimental setup. Half of the work in experimentation is just devising an experiment that allows you to record data uh, on the variables in your experiment. That's, that's half the job right there. So from our experiment, we can rearrange F equals ma to find A, which is the gravitational acceleration, otherwise referred to as G, which you've probably seen before. You'd recognize W equals mg. Well, this is W, this is M, and here's G. It's just written with different little symbols. So rearranged, we've got A is equal to F over M, and this is in the same form as the basic equation for the gradient, which is M equals Y over X. So see how these are identical in the form. So we can say that F is equal to y, so if we were to plot f on the y-axis and m on the x-axis, what we would get as the gradient is a, the acceleration. So that's how that works. So this tells us that if we were to plot a value, uh, graph of these uh, variables on their corresponding axes, then our gradient would be the experimental value for the gravitational acceleration here on Earth. So we can exploit this again and again in our experiments, always rearranging equations into their fractional form in order to get that one variable from the gradient. Remember this, this is how you will make all of your graphs in the coming year whenever you need to find a value from an equation. So we've got a step-by-step -step year to graphing and experiments. We've got first, rearrange your equation related to uh, the physics into the form m equals y over x, and then plot your graph using matplotlib. Extract the gradient from the numpy.polyfit function and display the results. Revalue everything after discovering gravity is now just 4.2 meters per second per second. Uh, NASA will also thank you for your contribution to rocket launches everywhere, thanks to this. And then uh, step six is just write up your report in time for your submission deadline and prepare for your press conference as well. So next up is plot the line of best fit. So we've used the gradient to find an experimental value for our experiment, but we need to display our data at some point in the report. We're going to need a line of best fit to do that. We already know a line of best fit sits optimally between all data points and seeks to decrease the distance between all points as much as possible. Our independent variable, mass, has already been measured and cannot change. So we just need to recalculate our y values, and that's the force, to plot.plot .plot our line. We're using plot.plot .plot because that will display the line between the, the points. We've got a mathematical function to do that. It's just the equation for a straight line. So if you could input a new collection of y values, recalculated from the straight line function here, into plot.plot, .plot, along with the original x values, then we would have a line of best fit on the graph. So we can perform calculations on every entry of an array, we can first make an array, and then we'll use numpy.polyfit. Uh, we'll use the outputs of that to change our y values and recalculate using y equals mx plus c. We're going to actually code that equation into Python, and we're going to get new y, new y values that are optimized from that. Importing libraries and then reading in our data here, and then we're going to assign just the same as before, x values, y values. We're going to make the array by zipping and then changing that zip object into a list, and then changing that, that data structure again into an array. So now we can show the array if I print this out for you. So we've got our mass down here, and we've got our y values down here. These are the original y values. So now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna extract the output of numpy.polyfit into this variable, uh, grad inter, stands for gradient and the intercept. I'm telling it it's degree one. Remember, you need to tell it what degree of polynomial you're dealing with. You'll usually be dealing with degree one. And then we're gonna print out the array here. Here you can see we've got the gradient, we've got the intercept. Now we're going to code the equation for a straight line into Python to recalculate the y results. So to do that, what we're going to need? We're going to need m, we're going to need the x values, and we're going to need the y-intercept as well. Well, we've got the gradient, we've got the y-intercept. So let's just take in our x values, uh, the whole column, that is the whole column. If you can remember how to access a full column, first select all the rows using a slice, and then just select uh, which index column you want to use. In this case, it's index zero. So we are reassigning the y values. So the y values, we're taking in all the rows, and it's the second column. So this is accessing the second column. It's in the second column, y is equal to the gradient here.
gradient is the first entry, times multiplied by all of the x values. So I'm actually taking in the full column here and multiplying them all by the same thing. And that will work. It will work as I'm adding on the intercept. And when we get that, what we're going to get is a new array with the same x values because I've not changed them, but I've reassigned the y values to these optimized ones. See how the values are different? Look at that first one there. It's, it's added on an extra 0 0.99, you know, 3, whatever. So all of them have been optimized slightly. So this here, what we've got are the coordinates for the line of best fit. And it's going to be a straight line. We can plot it as well using this. So here's our graph. We've plotted, we've used plot.plot. Plot. That's going to plot the line and not the scatter points. We've taken in the array of x values here, first column, second column for y values. We put that on. Because uh, Polyfit returns the values for a straight line, there's no sort of jumping between them. It's a perfect straight line all the way through. And we've, we've uh, plotted a scatter graph as well over points because we need to display where the original data points were as well. So as you can see, some of them sit on the bottom of it, some of them sit on the top, and it's worked. This is what it looks like. This is how you make a line of best fit. It really, it all sits on this equation up here. It all sits on you coding in y equals mx plus c and using the numpy.polyfit function. That's really the basis of it. And this is the full code here as well. This code is pretty much how you make a full graph with a line of best fit. Here it is here. This is what it looks like. This is what you'll get for your experiments. This is what you'll put in your reports. Uh, I've also saved, where is it? Best fit graph. Yep, there it is. So all you're going to do to save this is just go down and uh, download. And there you go. You've now got a PNG, which you can put in your report. And up next is going to be graphs with multiple lines. That's going to be covered in Python 7. So that's going to be plotting a single graph. Because right now we've got one line on this graph. We're going to be putting four lines on a single graph. And that will be used for your project data and your project reports. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.